I know that I don't like what you like. Did you expect a company like Easiest doing recovery software emerging with an audio product of this quality? Hello everyone, how are you today? Hope all is good. I'm great, my name is Paul, this is my studio Warsaw Poland, my humble YouTube channel. Guys, there's a company that's not even an audio company. They are called Easiest. And I know them from their recovery software uh, that actually I did buy at some point and I use it a couple of times to recover some of my files. The software was okay uh, and they ca take care of data protection, they take care of uh, dr hard drives recovery and stuff and this was easiest for me always. And I learned that these guys actually have an audio product, an audio suite in their portfolio, a new thing that can remove vocals from songs and that can separate stems. And having this from a non-audio company, I mean, yeah, cool fun for kids. And you know what? I tried it uh, and I have to make a video about it uh, because I have to rethink my reality somehow, guys. And that's what I'm gonna show to you today. And remember, if you like the studio, the vids, the channel, Please remember to subscribe, get notified, like the vid, and comment on it down below so that I know what you think about what's gonna happen now. Let's go. Okie dokie, my friends. I'm on EZS website. It looks like this. This is a special sub page for vocal remover. It's called Vocal Remover. Uh, or instrumental or a cappella extractor. Mm, uh, they also have a stem splitter for this. Then there is AI mastering, lead and bad vocals uh, uh, and back vocal splitter, echo and reverb remover, lyric studio music generation and voices singing regeneration. Uh, I'm not into generative music uh, or voices maybe. I'm not gonna test it out today. I'm just gonna focus, uh, focus on this vocal remover and a stem splitter. Uh, as for pricing for this, uh, this is roughly less than $8. It's like $7 built monthly, or $15, $16 per month, unlimited import and export. Pay as you go means that you pay around $40. I think it's $39.99 probably, and you got 500 minutes of import and export for this money. And this is how it goes. I'm gonna choose the file and I'm gonna take a track and I'm gonna upload it because of course I've got a blazingly fast internet here in the studio so it's gonna upload quickly. But one more cool thing about it is that the AI processing itself is really fast. This is cloud computing. Your, computing. your PC is not uh, calculating anything here actually. It's all done on a remote server and you're gonna be displayed the results of this computing. And it's way, way faster than, for example, Spectral Layers 12. And this is the advantage of this easiest for sure. Because as I said a couple of sentences to you, the result is ready. And let's listen to some vocals. But you can protect me now and I'll be on your mind You can protect me now No looking back What I like is that it detected filtered and quite quiet vocals as well. And what about the instrumental? Maybe there's some leakage, minimum leakage uh, from the vocals, but I would say, okay, this is the instrumental written like this. There's something happening in the back background, but it's the part of the instrumental track. I would have a genuine problem saying it's AI separation. Uh, let's go here. Boy, 
not too easy. I wouldn't say that every AI can detect this correctly as vocal, and instrumental here goes like this. And initially I thought, yeah, congratulations, Easy Us, the software recovery disc repair company, a cool shot on audio for kids. They're gonna do karaoke at home with friends and that's gonna be fun and that's gonna be cool. A lot of stem separation of mediocre quality for, for the masses. And hearing this told me there's something more to it. I have to test it out a bit more thoroughly. So I bought, uh, I'm actually gonna log in. I bought uh, the pro version. No, it's, uh, I wasn't given an NFR. I just bought a, a pro version for a month for now to test it out a bit more, to be able to download waves, uh, wave files. And what I did is that I clashed it against Spectral Layers 12, which is a heavyweight uh, in terms of stem separation. And it's a very, very good algorithm. Nothing, nothing wrong about it, but I decided to test it out against Easiest, and I did it on two tracks. And the first one goes like this. It's not too obvious which instrument plays what. The vocals are not too obvious here, I would say. And I already separated this, and now Let's listen to the results. Vocals, spectral layers versus easiest. I know that I don't like what you like. I know that I don't like what you like. There is some snap from the drums I could easily remove with transient shaper, but the beginning here is interesting. Spectral layers gave me some smeared very distant background while easiest. It knew actually these are vocal, abstract vocal shots, which is crazy when I'm thinking about it because it's not an easy task. And then let's go to the vocals here. As long as I can feel I can't blame Spectral Layers that it didn't do it, because the track is really heavy, hard to uh, extract. And here, easiest. As long as I can feel like <laughs> okay, what about this part, Spectral Layers? Easiest. Yes, these are abstract vocals. So on, so on and so on. And then, piano part. Uh, Spectral is, is struggling to get some electric piano and it's not fully extracted while Easiest up uh, is even worse. But wait, and here, not really very good, but the guitar part from Spectral Layers is this, 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 and someone's here, okay, and here, which is not guitar, while Easyus did this. So basically, it extracted the electric piano the right way as guitar, but it did extract the stem. When I connect piano and guitar stems, of course, it's not perfect because it's really hard to extract, but Spectral layers didn't do it, actually. And drums go like this. Spectral layers. Mm -hmm. 
the transients are perfectly hitting. There's no smearing, there's no this attack. There's no trace of vocals. These are production ready drums. And my eyebrows went like, whoop, okay, so Easy is, is, is actually an audio co company from now on. Because for bass, There are some stereo artifacts uh, in um, Spectral Layers version while it's cleaner in easiest and also other so unrecognized rest in Spectral Layers is huge. Some vocals, some piano while in easiest there is some But the rest has been assigned to stems and it has been done properly. I mean, the guitar stem is sort of, an, of a mistake, but it's an efficient mistake because I know what's up, guys. And as for the second track, let's do the same and let's start with the vocals. No looking back, now my future's getting brighter. Good job done by Spectral Layers. Easy as. But you can protect me now and I'll be on your mind. You can't protect me now. No looking back, now my future's getting brighter. Unrecognizable, same quality, great. As for piano stem, there's almost nothing there. Yeah, here's something, a burst of something here, nothing here. And easy as, same, very faint background, like minus 60 dB, so we can skip this. Guitar. Might sound like guitar. These are actually vocals. Uh, Easiest says there's no guitar, just something here. Yeah, also a, a single mistake. And here, but very low level. And then drums from Spectral Layers. Drums from Easiest. I like easiest better. Again, <laughs> bass from spectral layers. Oh, so uh, easiest said these were drums. Uh, spectral layers says says it's bass, and the bass goes like this. Minor stereo leakage of some artifacts. Easy as. Both are leaking something into stereo. They have different tonal quality as well. Mm, maybe even I would choose spectral layers here. And the last thing that tells me again a lot, other, so things unrecognized and put into this mm, additional stem. This is what we have hidden in spectral layers. Yeah, this is other. Yep, same story. Okay, I agree to that. But let's go further here. Some vocals, some drums are here while easy as. It's focused on this uh, uh, shiny sounding lead. 
And then, maybe here. Spectral layers took it all, all the vocals, and said it's other, while Easiest. It's there in the vocal track. We have the same uh, stuff in the first track, in the first example. And it continues, for example, here. While Easiest gives us this shiny sounding lead or keys sound. And when I'm thinking about this, uh, mm, the subscription, okay, it's a subscription, but it's a web-based service. It's relatively cheap. It works very fast. Of course, you can edit here if you want. Uh, you can uh, listen to stuff, I mean edit. You can for sure listen to the results. It's gonna detect the key for you, BPM, and then you can download to... Mm, uh, to make it happen, you can also enhance processing here, enhance vocals or enhance instrumental. I'm not gonna use it. Uh, all stems, only drums, only bass, only piano, only guitar, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so you can do basics of the basics online, but you can download MP3 or WAV to get to this point. And seriously, my friends, did you expect a company like Easiest doing recovery software emerging with an audio product of this quality. Because I didn't. And for now, I'm, I'm gonna treat Easiest as a serious audio company. And I'm gonna say this, I'm waiting for all this suite to become as a plugin, uh, in uh, a VST audio unit plugin for uh, digital audio workstations. Hey, Easiest, it's worth a shot to expand your market and hit the pros um, uh, working just inside their digital audio workstations. Because I thought you did something for kids. Apparently, you did a great product. And I'm quite baffled and I didn't expect it, but this is it. Let's sum the things up. That's it. And Easy as is an audio company, and it's a serious one. Because they really, I don't know who they hired, how much time it took, but they took totally the pro way. They did it the right, they did the job the right way. And it's thorough, it's really working. They had some great methodology on this. They had some great material to uh, teach the algorithm. Uh, and I mean, yeah, the times are crazy, I'm saying this, I repeat this from time to time, and I do have to rethink my audio reality after this, because uh, this opens up some new possibilities, the quality behind it is really more than usable. The drums I was hearing here are like production ready, perfect, transients, spot on, everything is just spot on, as well as other elements are also something. Um, and I, I did not expect this, and I have to tell you, and I'm just, I, I just wish, hey, easy as hear me out, make it a VST plugin, a VST suite, so that uh, professionals can use it in their work environment. Though this website really works fast and delivers things fast, I can just download and edit uh, whenever and however I want it. So yeah, guys, please let me know what you think about this one. What's your stem separation suite for now? And would you try this one to compare it against things that you're using right now? That's it, because I can easily recommend this one. That's it for today. Hope to hear from you down below in the comment section, and I'm gonna talk to you very, very soon. Take care, bye. Thank you.